The Nomad is there that I'm riding on, but this is the Atlas. This is the high performance snowmobile, right? Yeah, that's right. These are Taiga snowmobiles, the world's first production electric snowmobiles. And I don't know why they let me try the Atlas, which has a zero to 60 time of just 2.9 seconds. So this is the fast one. This is the Atlas. They've put it in sport mode. They're gonna let me do a little bit of a drag race, see how it does. All right, everyone's watching. Is he going to be scared? Yeah. Here we go. You hear that? It's electric. This is the Taiga Nomad. Welcome to Whistler. Isn't that beautiful up here? Welcome to the channel, Downy Live. I'm Mike, and uh, today we're doing a little preview of this prototype of the new first ever electric snowmobiles by Taiga. <laughs> that looks good, it sounds good. We're up here in uh, Whistler, some bowl somewhere off the mountain. Great spot with some fresh snow last night. We're in April, which is crazy. I called it a prototype, it's not. It's a pre-production model. They're just about ready to sell. I think you can pre-order and the machine is... It's not silent. You can hear a lot of power, but there's a lot of, there's a few moving parts. You've got the tread and you've got the electric motor revving. It's significantly quieter than a traditional gas engine snowmobile. Aside, listen to that. That same spot, gasoline snowmobile. So much louder. Look up like, that sounds like fucking an electric snowmobile. <laughs> I like your outfit. Yeah, thanks. Right style. It gains a lot of attention up here. So while I think electric vehicles are the future and I'm happy just to be out playing in the mountains here, I have to say that I am a little skeptical of electric snowmobiles for one reason. So one of my big questions is when you come out skiing or something like this, your phone battery always dies because batteries don't do well in the cold and yet you, you guys have somehow come up with a way that the battery inside the snowmobile is not affected by the cold. That's right. So the founder spent multiple years designing a thermal management system. And this system will both cool and warm the snowmobile when it's cold or hot outside. So if it's sitting at minus 30 all night long, turn it on, it'll warm up itself, then go for a rip. If your battery or motor are getting hot because you're going hard, then it'll cool them down. It's a fully contained battery motor system that is good for minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 40 degrees Celsius. That's right. It's the, cold in Quebec. It's, it's cold in Quebec. It's very cold in Quebec. Okay, with the batteries not being affected by the cold using some sort of Canadian magic wizardry, let's climb this mountain while the weather is still nice. From Quebec? I am. And these Parle are Francais. Parle en Francais, pas de problème. <laughs> and these are made in Quebec? That's right. So these snowmobiles were designed in Quebec by Quebecers and they're made for Quebec and Canada usage. So I think the first thing to know is that it is a normal snowmobile. It will do everything that a traditional snowmobile can. Your lifestyle doesn't change. In fact, it gets a little bit easier because at the end of your day when you go home, you put it in your garage, you can plug it in and it's charged and ready to go for the next day of riding. You don't need to stop at a gas station. Now my goal is to give the Taiga Nomad a proper shakedown and assessment. All right, let's talk about usability here. You've got your kill switch, first thing to do, gotta turn that on, press the green button, full throttle, you're good to go. It has regenerative braking, which means when you're going down those hills, build up a little bit of uh, battery life again. You can adjust that from off to low to high mode. First, I wanted to snap some pics of the Nomad here, which is actually a good reminder for me to tell you to follow Downy Live on Instagram to see more behind the scenes and photos like this. And, and now we'll get back to testing it properly. Now, the day included trail riding, which is a test for comfort, usability, endurance. We did hill climbing to test power and control of the unit. And then finally, the powder and obstacle maneuverability tests. Well, those were probably just more for fun. 
So they have three models, the Nomad, which is this one here, the Echo, and the Atlas. The Nomad is kind of more the utilitarian version. It has the big back seat, it has the wider stance, rack at the back. This is kind of what you would use at a ski resort or if you were hauling a lot of stuff. If you want the more fun, mountain, shredding, sledding kind of one, that's the Echo. And then the Atlas is kind of the hyper-performance one. Zero to 100, 2.9 seconds. But finally, we got to do the speed test across this open lake. But before I take the Atlas for a rip, they explained what they're actually doing up here at Whistler. Got the fantastic weather working for us. Got this lake to ourselves at the moment because Taiga here, they've got a little testing site set up. So what are you guys doing testing-wise with it today? So over the last few days, we've been looking at um, performance data for this. So we're looking at maximum acceleration and also uh, the power consumption at constant RPM so we can get a good idea of what kind of range, what kind of uh, acceleration, what kind of top speed we can expect. So this is their fastest snowmobile, but right now they're just testing it at a thousand RPM for the, the temperature stuff. So it, it's slow at the moment. So you basically run this around a set loop a number of times, come back, plug it into the laptops, do it all over. Yeah, essentially. So today, for example, we've been looking at the thermal behavior of the system. Ooh. So we've installed a bunch of sensors through the through the radiator, we're looking at what kind of temperatures uh, we can see when we do climbs, when we just go in a steady state around here, see when we descend as well. Yeah, we have access to all the um, all of the computers. We can make it do pretty much anything we want to get data and stuff. I mean, we put you know the, the stuff that's the most enjoyable to use in there for people. Well, to we'll leave all the tech stuff to the engineers, but I know what we're all here for. And for some reason, they decided to let me do a top speed test. It's not quite an even trade. I'm giving you my camera, and I'm going to take this for a little, little ride and. We'll, we'll make sure they both come back. Oh, look at this! Look at this, I wore it for a reason! Guys, you think he's gonna pin it full max or no? I think he's gonna pin it full max and he's gonna back off pretty quickly once he... Is he gonna be scared? Yeah. That is an unnecessary amount of power and I love it. That is phenomenal. Can I go again? Can I do one more? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I clearly couldn't be any happier than to be out here at this like most picturesque place and if technology like this is going to help us get out here and enjoy it in a new way let's face it electric cars are here everything is going electric why not something fun like a snowmobile and the fact that it's being made by a canadian company for canadians for non-canadians whoever you are wherever in the world you are and you want to ride something like this they got it so these are coming out i'll link them down below uh this is not a sponsored video it's just an invite and something that I really enjoy. I'm Mike, the channel's Downy Live. You can uh, click my face here if you're new and you've made it to the end of the video, you might as well subscribe because you're gonna get a lot more videos like this and you can watch my last video right there. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. See ya. I knew I wore the outfit for a reason. The smile says it all, I think. I better get off this thing before I break it.